Good morning, everybody. In this video, we're starting with a prime P and a group whose order is P. And we want to use Lagrange's theorem in order to prove that G is an abelian group. So the way we're going to proceed is the following. Since, uh, well, G has order P, P is not 1, right? Remember that, primes are not 1. Uh, there is going to be some non-identity element in G, right? It has more than one element, so there's a non-identity element. So let's let A be some element uh, which is in G, but which is not the identity element. So I want to know what the order of A is. So you'll recall that the order of A is equal to the size of the subgroup generated by A. And by Lagrange's theorem, we know that any subgroup of G, which is a finite group, has to, any subgroup has to divide the order of G, which is P. Okay, but P is a prime number. So this subgroup is either order one or order P. Okay, but if it was a one, that would mean that there's only one power of A, right, which would be E. And we know that A is not equal to E. So as A is not equal to E, we know that the size of this subgroup has to be P. Okay, but G only has P elements. So that means that this subgroup must equal all of the elements of G. All right, so G is actually a cyclic group. So G is a cyclic group. But cyclic groups are abelian. Everything in G is a power of A. If I multiply two powers of A, it looks like A to the I times A to the J. Well, of course that's equal to A to the J times A to the I. We've shown that this is A to the I plus J. This is A to the J plus I. Of course, those are the same number. So once you know G is cyclic, that implies G is abelian.